15 high school students from Romania were among the winners of NASA's International Space Settlement Design Competition. As part of their trip, they are visiting NATO headquarters, and we have invited five of their number here into our studio to give us their impressions of their visit. NATO is currently developing a new strategic concept in a process that is uh, more open and transparent than such processes have been. In this spirit, I thought that in addition to filming you, you could film us. Begin with the filming, if you could pass this around to that uh, young lady. I would ask that you keep it focused most of the time on the person who is actually speaking. Let's get going. If there's one thing from the briefings that, that stands out in your mind as something that really struck you, what, what do you think that was? I guess I was impressed by the, um, the idea that um, all the nations, the member nations in NATO, stand together for, for each other, you know? So the, the saying, uh, all for one and one for all, actually takes place here. Now we have, to, we, have to, we have to do this very complex movement of the camera and the microphone. Oh, be careful. <laughs> it means that everything is safe and peaceful. So hopefully it will remain like that, but that's not a job, isn't it? If one of the 28th member countries uh, uses their uh, veto, right, mm -hmm. then uh, the whole process of decision making is uh, is seized. Some people are saying maybe we should have uh, decision-making structures where you don't need uh, pure unanimity in order to decide something. I would prefer a system of uh, majority voting, but th that's just me. I mean, uh, it seems to work like this pretty well. Would you like to see a NATO that uh, cooperates very closely with, say, the European Union or the Organization for uh, security and cooperation in Europe, for example. This is what's happening right mm -hmm. here, right now. I think that in Kosovo, in the Balkans, that after the NATO uh, army finished their job, then everything was overtaken by uh, the EU mm -hmm. army, so you're mm -hmm. already working. I was really surprised that uh, NATO is not uh, majorly a military organization. The political and uh, negotiative aspect or the organizations are much understated in the press. If you had one question that you could ask NATO, what would that question be? Will there come a time when uh, there will be complete peace in the world? For example, if uh, there will come a time when uh, NATO won't have uh, its sense here. Why I had to come all the way here to find out about these things? Why, I don't know, why didn't, don't they teach us in school? Why don't, uh, why aren't there, um, um, presentations or um, speakers um, in public places uh, in, our, in my home country, for example. Um, because, um, of course, when I'll go home, I'll, I'll tell people what I found out here. But um, I wish I didn't have to do it like this, you know. I wish, I wish people knew what happened here so they could appreciate it more. <laughs>